Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl LK here for another video. First off, let me say happy Black History Month. I am so excited. Um, in light of it being Black History Month, I wanted to do kind of a TBR slash reading recommendation of books that have all been written by Black authors. Obviously, there is a vast amount of books. This is by no means um, the best or most important books or anything like that. These are just ones that I happen to have on my bookshelf and some that I don't have but I've been looking at picking up. So just kind of like a really, really condensed list of if anybody was struggling to find a book or maybe wanted to read one or two books by Black authors, you could probably pick something off of this list. But please note that there are so many amazing books written by Black authors and really and truly you should be looking for them all year long. But I mean, why not Black History Month? It's like the perfect time. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be going over a couple of those books with you guys. Also, another disclaimer, uh, I have not read a single book <laughs> at all this year and we are in February. Um, I'm having like a horrible, horrible, horrible reading time, but January got super busy for me and I'm hoping to definitely fix that in February. Um, and I also just found out that it's the year of the rat. Okay, I didn't just find this out. I found this out like earlier last week, but yeah, I found out it's the year of the rat, which is my year because I'm a 96 baby so I was like no I have to like pull myself together and just you know get stuff done this year I'm super excited anyways that was a huge long rant for literally no reason let's jump into some of these amazing books that you guys can read this hey month. um obviously as per usual if you hear my great dane whining upstairs it's because she's not allowed downstairs blah 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 it's the same disclaimer I give in every single video she's not dying she is fine um right now she's literally just throwing her food bowl around upstairs so you'll probably hear that anyways so I have my little notebook here so I didn't forget any important parts of the synopsis so if I'm looking down that is what I'm looking at um, but let's get started the first book that I wanted to recommend to you guys even though I obviously haven't read it and I'm thinking of picking it up is Riot Baby by Toshi Anabuchi I am so sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly I also I actually saw um, a recommendation for this book from Not Reads and Smiles um, and I actually really, really like her. Even though we don't have the same taste in books, there are some times where she'll recommend something that's like, yeah, that's a hidden gem, I love that. So this particular book is about siblings Ella and Kev, and they both have powers, I'm pretty sure. I, I think they both have powers, but um, Kev ends up being arrested for literally being a young black man in America and Ella has the ability to kind of manipulate time and space so she's able to teleport to him and still see him while he's in incarcerated and like kind of go back and forth that way and all the while I think she is planning some sort of a revolution so there's a lot going on in that book um and I like the idea of the element of powers being kind of thrown into there it's almost like a little bit of a magical realism thing so I'm really, really excited about it. The one thing that caught my eye with this is it's actually very, very short. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be a quick read for February, that might be the way to go for you. Um, the next book that I have, so the next book on my list is actually one that I own, and it's The Poet X written by Elizabeth Acevedo. She's my favorite author of all time. This book is written in verse, and that kind of threw me off the first time when I picked it up, because I read the synopsis, but I didn't actually open the book. And when I got home, I was like, oh, that's weird. Um, because I had never read a book in verse until this one. And this follows our main character, Ziomara, and she lives in a very conservative kind of strict household. Her and her mom kind of clash. Well, she can't really clash with her mom because she is still trying to struggle. Like she's struggling to find her voice. So she kind of just goes along with what her mom wants, but she has this love of poetry and she kind of expresses herself and all the questions she has about the world through her poetry and um she joins the slam poetry club at her school and you kind of just get to follow her along as she goes on this journey of finding her voice and and trying to gain trying to move away from gaining her mom's ex acceptance and more so her mom's respect um it's really just a beautiful thing go wrong is going wrong for me filming this video i keep getting interrupted by literally everything anyways um yeah she's Zio Mata kind of you get to follow her moving away from wanting her mom's acceptance to more so wanting her respect and also finding her own voice and and really discovering her love of passion for poetry and slam poetry so this is a it's a beautifully written book and it's narrow so if you can sorry I'm getting ahead of myself if you can I would definitely recommend listening to it on audiobook because Elizabeth Acevedo narrates it she does a beautiful job I love when authors narrate their books 
because I feel like obviously they are going to know how these characters are supposed to be portrayed and I, I love Elizabeth Acevedo's voice and narration is beautiful 100% 10 out of 10 would recommend this book and it's a very very quick listen as well if you listen to it on the audiobook I believe it's like three or four hours so definitely recommend this one the next book I don't have but I will post a picture of the cover of it somewhere on the screen and that is Oh My Gods by Alexandra Shepard and it's about a girl I believe her, her name is Helen and she's half Greek god half human and it's pretty much and she's a teenager so it's pretty much you're following her navigate her life I believe she's at a new school and she's trying to keep hers and her family secret so that just sounded very very interesting to me I think it'd be kind of like a light fun read but it's also written by a black author so I was like why not throw it in here so yeah check that one out if you guys haven't already the next book that I have here is Black Enough and it's edited by Ibi Zobi it's um it's an anthology so it's pretty much just a bunch of different perspectives on the black experience or sorry the young black experience in America and you get a vast spectrum of perspectives so you have like um rich poor urban rural a whole bunch of different perspectives on it it's really really good honestly and it's it looks thick don't let that intimidate you because i hate reading thick books i hate it so much it's a quick read like it's it's really really nice and i love the fact that you get so many different perspectives on it so i am about halfway through this halfway through this um i might start it over because i picked it up in december the end of december I think the end of December I picked it up. I might start it over, but from what I read of it so far, I really, really liked it. And it's something that you guys could definitely check out. The next one that I have is Pride by Ibi Zobi. Like, first of all, can we just take in that the cover of this is so beautiful? It's a Pride and Prejudice retelling that takes place in, where does it take place again? Oh, it takes place in Brooklyn. It takes place in Brooklyn, New York. Um, and it's about this girl, her name is Zuri, and she has so much pride for for where she lives like her her little small town um she loves it to pieces it's on the lower end income so when a new family moves in that is really wealthy everybody's kind of taken aback and you can't you get to see her navigate this relationship with a boy who is of completely different economical status than she is while also kind of trying to not sacrifice her cultural pride as well so it's a beautiful book and it's also very short as you can tell so far i really really like short books quick reads they're fun and they make you feel like you've accomplished something when you finish the book so i would definitely recommend this it's again beautifully written and it's just it's really really fun it's a really really fun book it had me laughing so so hard i also listened to this one on audiobook because elizabeth acevedo narrates it on audiobook and she did a crazy job it was so good so definitely check this one out um the next book that i have is on the come up by angie thomas um this i haven't read this one yet believe it or not this is so horrible i haven't read this one or the hate you give but i believe from what i've heard of this book is it follow what's her name again Brie. It follows 16 year old Brie who wants to who she's an aspiring rapper and she's kind of trying to follow in the footsteps of her dad who was just about to make it big in the rap game but then he unfortunately passes away and you kind of she you get to see her trials and tribulations as she's trying to follow her dream and she wants to make it but then it turns into a situation where she has to make it because like her family is suffering in various different aspects and she just it she now she has to get this done so this sounds really really cool i believe it also takes place in the same universe as the hate you give don't quote me on that i could be wrong but this could be one that you guys look into as well um another book that i have is sorry not sorry by jamie reed and this one really intrigued me so it's about these two best friends turned to enemies and they literally couldn't be any more different you have um is it angelina i didn't i don't have their names written down but you have on one hand the one friend who is super popular and very very focused on her popularity in high school and then you have on the other hand this girl who's very very focused on like charity work and just kind of keeping it low-key and to herself but then the one friend who is very focused on popularity passes out in high and at her high school and it turns out that whatever is wrong with her is like detrimental and the only person who can save her is her ex-best friend so we don't know obviously why they've turned to enemies or what has happened but the idea that the only person that can save you is literally your only enemy right now is 
really really cool so I'm excited for that one I'm definitely gonna be picking that one up sometime soon the next book that I have is my all-time favorite book on the planet and that is with the fire on high by Elizabeth Acevedo again if you can listen to this on audiobook I would recommend it because Elizabeth Acevedo narrates it and it follows Imani and she is a teen mom aspiring cook who lives with her abuela and you just you follow her journey I have gushed about this book so many times I'm not gonna go too much into it um, if you want to know more about it please feel free to watch my um, favorites or my favorite and least favorites video from 2019 I go so in depth about this book it's beautiful like this book has a very special place in my heart I every time I see this book in store I want to pick up a copy of it because I just I love it so much so I would definitely recommend this one um the next one is let me hear you rhyme by Tiffany Jackson I read another oh there's another book by Tiffany Jackson that should also be on this list and it's just I'll do it as an honorable mention it's Monday's not coming um so look into that one as well but the let me hear you rhyme by tiffany jackson is about three friends one of the friends is killed but the friend that was killed is a really really good i think he's a rapper i believe it was a rapper um was a really really good rapper and the other two friends um decide in honor of his memory they are going to release his music into the world and then it turns out that his music takes off and everybody loves it so now those two friends are trying to navigate how to make sure that their friend's memory lives on and it's not solely about his music it's also about the person who wrote the music but they're also hiding this secret so i don't know if they released it under the pretense that the person who made the music is still alive i'm not sure but i'm very intrigued about that and i know that i have a copy of it somewhere in this house and i want to read it because that sounds so cool and the next book is also a book that i have but i think it's upstairs and i'm not about to run up there and go and get it but it's i want to be where you are by uh christina forrest and it's about this girl who is an, an aspiring ballerina and she has this really really important audition i think it's in washington dc that the audition is in and i believe she i can't remember where she lives but it's it's a long road trip for her to get to the audition and literally everything that can go wrong on this road trip goes wrong like it was one of the most chaotic ways i've ever seen a little road trip go but it was so so cute and the one thing that i really liked and appreciated about this book is that the entire cast was poc um i believe there's a couple of those um and the books that i've mentioned before but this one was just like really blatantly the whole cast was poc and it was really really nice so i would definitely look into that one and it was really really quick light contemporary but with some hard hat is dear haiti leveline by marika and Mart martiza martiza moulet i believe they're sisters uh and i'm so sorry if i butchered their name again this is about a teenager her name is aline she goes to a fancy private boarding school and um something happens and a prank goes horribly wrong and she finds herself suspended and for the duration of her suspension she goes to she goes back to her home then, which is haiti to spend time with her aunt and while she's there she kind of gets to discover all this information about a mother that she thought that she never really understood so it's kind of about her going back to her roots and embracing her culture and while she's there also finding out information about a mom that she really didn't give a chance and like try and understand so that sounds really really nice as well the next book i'm trying to fly through this because i know that this video is going to end up being very very long but the next book is called full disclosure by cameron garrett this is one that i'm actually very very excited to read and it's about a teenager who's hiv positive and she's going to a new high school and she's obviously living with this disease but she falls in love and she's tr I said, but she falls in love yeah I, I don't know why i said it like that she falls in love and she's trying to kind of navigate this relationship and obviously the sexual aspect of this relationship while she has while she's also dealing with hiv and she's kind of like battling with herself does she tell um her partner does she not tell her partner stuff like that and i really feel like this is such a hard-hitting topic you don't i've read a couple books about characters who are HIV positive, but they're older. Um, I've never come across one where it's a teenager who's HIV positive and trying to navigate her life with that. So I'm super excited for that as well. And I'm hoping to get to that one this month. Um, the next one that I have is Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. 
there's another book by J. Coles that I wanted to recommend, but I forgot. This one is about uh, twins, Marvin and Tyler. They go to a party and things get out of hand and Tyler ends up being shot. And then they find out later on that he was, uh, sorry, they find out the next day that he was actually shot by a cop. So Marvin kind of goes into a little bit, like he kind of withdraws into himself a little bit and you get to kind of see him console like his he has to console his mom who's obviously just lost her son and he has to navigate his life without his twin brother and also living in America he has to kind of figure out for himself what the right to freedom and life actually means and if it's freedom for everyone uh, including black people so he's navigating that story as well and I'm so so excited to read that one I keep saying I'm so excited I'm very excited for all most of these books um I also I have this book somewhere I just don't know where my copy of it is so yeah that would also be a pretty hard-hitting one and I like the perspective of twin boys so yeah I'm intrigued for that one as well the next one that I have is Dear Martin by Nick Stone um and this is about a young man navigating a young black man navigating a world full of police brutality in America and he's always been just this really 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 good student like just a really stand up solid citizen and a good kid and he finds himself on the wrong side of police brutality and he is trying to cope with that by writing letters to Martin Luther King Jr and he's using that to cope with what he sees going on in his world right now so I think that that's just a really beautiful take on what's going on and society today and it's also it's still uh, a relevant topic it's always going to be a relevant topic there was a height of police brutality books that were released I believe in 2017 and 2018 but it's still a topic that should not be forgotten just because we're in 2020 it's a new decade like it's still something that needs to be relevant and uh, it's something that needs to keep on being heard and keep on gaining knowledge about so I'm excited for that one um, the next book that I have is actually another one of my favorite books and it's Long Way Down written by Jason Reynolds. It's another book written in verse. Um, I read this one. I didn't listen to it on audiobook, but I found out yesterday that Jason Reynolds does narrate the audiobook for this one. So if you wanted to listen to that, um, by all means. Um, this book is the prime example of a quick read. It's written and takes place majority within a 60 second elevator ride and it's about the main character deciding on whether or not he is going to avenge his brother's death by killing the man who killed his brother and it's just as they stop on each floor I don't want to give too much away because then the whole premise of the book is lost but it's it's beautiful like it's honestly about whether or not you continue this cycle of violence that's been taught to you and it's been taught through generation after generation after generation or if he's going to be the one strong enough to break it and it's just it's beautifully written like it was so so gorgeous I read this book probably about an hour like I opened it and that was it couldn't put it down until it was done it was beautiful so I would definitely recommend this one again if you want just like a quick read for February this is great like this is honestly so so great um I'm surprised I don't hear more about it. It's a really, really good book. And then the last book that I have on this list um, is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, obviously. I don't think any Black History Month or Black author book TBR recommendation would be complete without this book, even though I personally haven't read it. I've heard nothing but good things about it the um, movie is also out for it and I feel like I would be doing even though I haven't read it personally I feel like I'd be doing a huge disservice by not having it on this list um some other honorable honorable mentions obviously everybody knows what this one is about um but some other honorable mentions just in case we were wanting a more fantasy kick would be Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and the sequel for that is also out right now um, and you could also, the book that I'm currently reading right now is Just Mercy. The movie for that has also just been released. So I'm hoping to finish Just Mercy this weekend, maybe, I hope, and then go and see the movie. Uh, Michael B. Jordan is in the movie, is in the movie, and I already know it's going to be brilliant. So I'm super excited about that. But that brings me to the end of this Black History Month TBR slash recommendations video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!